Hey guys, today we're going to take an updated look at Revoicer. Revoicer is an AI voice generator that claims to deliver supernatural results. Now, I first looked at Revoicer a couple years ago and I wasn't that impressed at that time. But this technology has come a long way since then. And I know that Revoicer specifically has made some improvements to their product. So we're going to take a fresh look because people still watch that old Revoicer video. And I kind of feel bad. I'm like, I don't know if that Revoicer is the Revoicer of today. So we're going to give Revoicer another chance to impress us. So here is the pricing structure for Revoicer as it stands today. This is something that has changed since then. They're now offering a one-time payment for Revoicer standard. But I'm going to pick the pro plan so I can give you a broader spectrum of voices that come with Revoicer so you can see for yourself if you think it's worth upgrading to pro. So here's something I can tell you right off the bat has improved with Revoicer. When I first looked at it, there was very few resources to tell you how to actually maximize this product. So they've really filled out their YouTube channel with a lot more tutorials and I definitely appreciate that as a user. So here we are on the Revoicer platform. I have set my language to English US. And I do want to point out that when you sign up for Revoicer, it promises you a lot of voices, right? So on the pro level that I'm at, it says 250 voices. But you got to keep in mind that Revoicer offers a lot of languages, which is great. But don't think you're going to get 250 English speaking voices. They're broken up into many different languages, but there are 43 voices in here, which is a fair amount, I would say. Some of them are kids. This one here is a character of Santa. And the ones with the blue circles are on the standard plan, and the ones with the green circles are on the pro plan only. Each voice has a quick description of what they sound like, and you can preview them by hitting this button. Hello, I'm one of the voices from Revoicer. I hope that we will work together on many projects. My name is Emily, and I am one of the most popular voices from Revoicer. I can read your text in a normal or angry tone, friendly or sad, and even shout or whisper. And you can hear right off the bat the range of quality of voices here in Revoicer. For instance, Axel, who's only a standard voice, in my opinion, sounded way more natural than Emily, who's a pro voice. She sounds so robotic to me, so I don't really understand what makes someone standard or pro. I'm going to drop in a script that reads all of the emotions that Revoicer claims that you can incorporate into your reads. And so what I'm going to do is assign these corresponding tones to each of these lines. So I'm going to highlight the text and then press the set tone button and assign this one to angry. I'm going to grab this next line and set tone to cheerful and so on and so forth. Now, this functionality you're seeing here is something relatively new to Revoicer because when I first reviewed Revoicer, their promotional video showed you that you had the ability to assign different emotions within the same script. But in reality, when you actually went to do that, that was not possible. And it really left a bad taste in my mouth because I felt like it was false advertising. So since then, they have added this functionality, which is a great idea. And it's definitely an improvement. So let's select Axel here. He's the one that right off the bat, I thought sounded pretty natural. And now we could do a quick preview, but it's only going to preview for us the first line. And I want to hear all of these lines, right? So I'm going to hit generate audio and really quick, it created that voiceover, which is great. Let's play it back. This is what I sound like when I'm normal. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. This is what I sound like when I'm excited. This is what I sound like when I'm friendly. This is what I sound like when I'm hopeful. This is what I sound like when I'm sad. This is what I sound like when I'm shouting. This is what I sound like when I'm terrified. This is what I sound like when I'm unfriendly. This is what I sound like when I'm whispering. Okay, some of those emotions sound more authentic than others. Let's do the same exercise with some other voices. I'm going to randomly select a smattering of voices from my options here in Revoicer and have them read back this exact script. And I'm going to play them back for you right now so you can hear for yourself. Okay, I tried to do that, but when I selected Zachary randomly, I got this pop-up message. It says that I'm using different tones in my text and that the new voice, which is Zachary, does not contain some of the tones I'm using. 
And so changing the voice will change the unsupported tones to normal instead of all the different emotions that Revoicer claims that you can have in your scripts. And do I want to continue changing the voice? And no, I don't actually. And what's crazy is that Zachary is considered a pro voice. So I'm going to have a change of plans. I'm going to click on every single one of these voices and see how often I get that pop up. Wow. Okay. So we learned a lot there. I could only do all of these emotions with the five voices you see listed here below. That's not to say that the rest of the voices don't do any emotions. I don't know if they do or don't, but they don't do all of the ones that ReVoiceOver likes to promote. It likes to promote itself as the voiceover generator that has lots of different variations and tonalities. And I got that error message from almost all of the voices. So let's listen to the voices that it did work for so you can hear for yourself. This is what I sound like when I'm normal. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. This is what I sound like when I'm excited. This is what I sound like when I'm friendly. This is what I sound like when I'm hopeful. This is what I sound like when I'm sad. This is what I sound like when I'm shouting. This is what I sound like when I'm terrified. This is what I sound like when I'm unfriendly. This is what I sound like when I'm whispering. This is what I sound like when I'm normal. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. This is what I sound like when I'm excited. This is what I sound like when I'm friendly. This is what I sound like when I'm hopeful. This is what I sound like when I'm sad. This is what I sound like when I'm shouting. This is what I sound like when I'm terrified. This is what I sound like when I'm unfriendly. This is what I sound like when I'm whispering. This is what I sound like when I'm normal. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. This is what I sound like when I'm excited. This is what I sound like when I'm friendly. This is what I sound like when I'm hopeful. This is what I sound like when I'm sad. This is what I sound like when I'm shouting. This is what I sound like when I'm terrified. This is what I sound like when I'm unfriendly. This is what I sound like when I'm whispering. This is what I sound like when I'm normal. This is what I sound like when I'm angry. This is what I sound like when I'm cheerful. This is what I sound like when I'm excited. This is what I sound like when I'm friendly. This is what I sound like when I'm hopeful. This is what I sound like when I'm sad. This is what I sound like when I'm shouting. This is what I sound like when I'm terrified. This is what I sound like when I'm unfriendly. This is what I sound like when I'm whispering. I still think Axel is my personal favorite. I also think Kayla has a lot of good variation in her reads as well, but her voice in and of itself is very high pitched and cartoony, and that's not really the best fit for every situation. So what I would like to do next is select one of these voices and bring in an actual 30 second commercial script from a real project that I've worked on on behalf of my video production company and see if I can get a natural sounding read for that real commercial script using one of these voices and the tools inside Revoicer. This is a fictitious name. It is a real healthcare company, but that's not the name of it. And basically this is a testimonial style video and the script starts with kind of an emotional tone and then gets a little bit more positive here in the middle and kind of soft here at the end. So I want to assign different emotions to the different lines in this script. This first line, I'm just going to leave here on the normal tone and we'll see how we do with that. I might end up adjusting that. I don't know, some of these lines, the, the tones aren't really fitting perfectly, but I'm going to try what I think is going to work best and then make adjustments as needed. I'm going to select Axel and I'm going to generate this audio and just see how this sounds without any further adjustments. My five-year-old woke us up in the middle of the night. He was burning up. That kind of fever. It's scary. Luckily, there's a new Serenity Health freestanding ER in our neighborhood. They saw us right away. The chest x-ray showed he had a respiratory infection. He's feeling better and I feel better knowing help is so close. Thank you, Serenity Health. In a couple of these, I think I made the wrong choices. On this line here, I have on terrified. It's a little over the top. I'm gonna switch that to sad and see if that makes it better. And on this one, I have it on sad and I don't think that's the right tone either. Let's switch that back to normal to be a little bit more matter of fact. Let's generate the audio again. My five-year-old woke us up in the middle of the night. He was burning up. That kind of fever, it's scary. Luckily, there's a new Serenity Health freestanding ER in our neighborhood. They saw us right away. The chest x-ray showed he had a respiratory infection. He's feeling better and I feel better knowing help is so close. 
Thank you, Serenity Health. I think in terms of tone, that's an improvement. Let's play a little bit with these options here. There was a pause in this line because I have this ellipsis here, but let's try adding a pause manually as well. And I'm just gonna do a really short one because it was already there. This one, I want him to emphasize burning up. So I'm gonna select that and I'm wondering if I slow it down, if that'll kind of help add some emphasis. I'm not sure if that's going to help with the emphasis. Let's try it. My five-year-old woke us up in the middle of the night. He was burning up. That kind of fever. It's scary. All right. I do feel that slowing down certain words gave them more emphasis. So I'm just going to do that here and here. And let's try that. My five-year-old woke us up in the middle of the night. He was burning up. That kind of fever. It's scary. Luckily, there's a new Serenity Health freestanding ER in our neighborhood. They saw us right away. The chest x-ray showed he had a respiratory infection. He's feeling better, and I feel better knowing help is so close. Thank you, Serenity Health. All right, I'm going to make one more adjustment. I'm going to change the tone on this word, scary. I guess I'm going to go normal, and then maybe just slow it down. I really feel like I'm giving this the best possible chance. My five-year-old woke us up in the middle of the night. He was burning up. That kind of fever. It's scary. Luckily, there's a new Serenity Health freestanding ER in our neighborhood. They saw us right away. The chest x-ray showed he had a respiratory infection. He's feeling better, and I feel better knowing help is so close. Thank you, Serenity Health. I think that's the best we're going to get with this read. There's definitely some things in here I'm not happy with, particularly the inflection at the end. It should read, thank you, Serenity Health. Like the inflections should go down, but in this read, it goes up. Thank you, Serenity Health. And I, to me, that doesn't sound right. It does not sound natural. Do I think that my client would be happy with this read in a commercial? No, I definitely don't. But that's the standard I have. I think people out there might not need things to be so perfect. And I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think this sounds remotely natural? Do you love this technique? technology? Or is it still uncanny valley for you and it's just not good enough? Truly, I'm very interested to hear what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for hanging out. I've got another video I think you're going to like here, and I'm going to let YouTube pick out something it thinks you're going to like right down here. I'll see you soon.